this year the Turners have had some some real emotional stuff with uh, Little May and her adoption journey. Uh, how has that been to film? It, it seems quite intense, I guess. Yeah, um, it's it is it's sort of difficult stuff to film, but. Um, yeah, I did, I did actually just tweet a video just the other day of me having fun with the kids. You know, we have fun with the little children. Yeah. Um, uh, we really genuinely enjoy each other's company, don't we? Enjoy we love each other. We've become together. a little unit. One of the nicest things about the kids is that they've grown up with us. Mm-hmm. And so, well, most of them. Um, April arrived reasonably late. But with, with, with someone like Alice, she's grown up with us. And they're at this beautiful age now where they're curious but a set is a film set is still a film set and it can be intimidating it could be boring and we just have a good time with them don't we they're like a little surrogate family so back to your original point when you have to put go through the emotional mill with these kids it's quite a thing to have to play it is, isn't it, it you know is. we knew it was coming and it's coming it stands in the series relatively it builds up slowly and we were glad about that because we could do some of the more peaceful stuff but without giving anything away when it lands it lands mm-hmm. and it lands mm-hmm. like a lot of things in yeah. call the midwife with a bit of a punch you know? and it's easy to feel you know the, the emotions because there is a genuine you know you're not totally acting like I do love these kids you know yeah. and i love little april and it's it's it, it makes it easier to tap into it because yeah. She's just, you know, just a terrific little girl. But it also shows, I suppose, that adoption isn't always kind of emotionally simple or legally simple. And that seems like quite an important thing to, to show. Even in the 60s context, where you had the Hong Kong adoptions and adoption agency at the time, we would do things undoubtedly differently now anyway. But with any case of it, what was very deliberate with the, with the company and when we were approached about it was there's no easy answer like with many of the themes call the midwife that 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 it's painful and with the story unfolding as it did by episode six um there's a real heartache there and there's no one simple side to be taken of course we wouldn't do that but for us in our position as so many so many parents, or, or as we've been contacted on the show by, by adopted children, you know, who said to us, I don't know if you heard about this, but they've written in and said, you know, it was nice and it was complex, and because it's not easy and there are lots of things which aren't simple, you know, and thanks for making it not simple, because it isn't. And we were really pleased at that, you know, and it shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. Testament to the writing. I know you've just spoken to Heidi Thomas and she's still. Yeah, she's over there. Testament to her. She can't hear. You could say horrible things about her if you wanted. But no, she's brilliant. And she, she's always attentive. And she, I call it an orchestration. The orchestration that she does of each character in their moments. And what we love at the moment, people have known Call the Midwife for a long time now. But what people are saying to us is, oh, I love it when something happens to each one of you. Because they know us all in the ensemble quite well. They go, oh, what will what will um, Sheila do about this but she'll be so upset or what will Patrick think or what you know what, what and you get this with the characters all the time what will Sister Julianne do in this situation we love that mm-hmm. we love that mission mm-hmm. people like seeing um, a man be emotional yeah. you this week or just, yeah. just on Sunday you know the doctor the pressure of it and what you just witnessed and to see a man just let that emotion out. Yeah. And the week before, you know, high praise for that actor who played the young father at the birth. Oh, and gosh, yeah. Wow, oh, to see wonderful. a man feel And you know, earlier on, did. some people used to say about our show, oh, yeah, oh, the women are all great, the men are all tough. No, 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 it was, never, it was never like that anyway. But actually, it's been a nice touch this year. Mm. I've been very surprised at the emotional response to that because actually I'll conf- I'm a great crier and, and I think I'm lucky because I grew up in a family who could go and watch a movie and shed a tear that was okay my father wasn't like that but the boys were and I think that's very healthy but lots of people still it's a great catharsis and the most touching thing about me crying on screen for me 
contacted by, by medics saying thank you for that because we do that, we go off. And I found that incredibly moving because they said, you know, well, thanks, because it's genuine. Because you've got to find somewhere to have you cry. And you imagine what these guys deal with all the time. You know, we're just playing let's pretend, but these guys really Absolutely. do. You know? yeah. On a slightly less somber note, I suppose, um, I wanted to ask, are you glad that you're um, out of the wimple in time for the wonderful fashion that we've seen in this series? Well, I know we had a fashion show, didn't we? You know, so I've been able to take part in that, although I made the little girls the star yeah. of that. Um, yes, I still can't quite believe the journey that Sheila's been on in, you know, the first two series yeah. I was in. I was and in your little habits. round glasses. And the little round glasses Oh, you were hot one. and sexy then, weren't you? <laughs> I kissed the hand of that you. woman, don't forget. <laughs> Go so, on, just wear it again for me. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. But Terrible it's man. It's a slow burn. Yeah. It's a wonderfully uh, slow, slow burn. And, you know, we're, I think we're now starting to see those swinging 60s and I don't think she would have coped if she was just out the habit. So, yeah, she's able to sort of take part in all of that now.